you guys. Crackshot 47 here. So today we're going to do something a little bit different than we usually do for our videos. As you can see, we've got a nice fire burning. Tonight we got something a little bit different. We're going to be testing out, well, different muzzle devices on an AR-15 pistol. But we're going to see uh, how well an A2 birdcage suppresses a flash from, well, a 5.56. Uh, opposed to a, uh, well, compared to a uh, flash can. And we're going to see kind of the difference of, uh, between both of the fireballs coming out of the barrel. I think it'll be a really interesting video. Really interesting comparison, you know. Kind of a very brief video. We're going to shoot in slow-mo, so I think that'll be kind of fun. Uh, basically, we're going to be shooting uh, one round out of each barrel. It's going to be two different uppers. Both are going to be 11 and a half inch uppers for an AR-15 pistol. And uh, the first one's going to be a, uh, well, it's just a standard A2 birdcage. The second one's going to be a uh, flash can. Um, and I think this is going to showcase how effective an A2 birdcage actually is at suppressing flash out of a 5, uh, out of a 5.56 chambered AR-15, specifically 11, 11.5 inches. So, let me know what you guys think down in the comments and uh, enjoy. Uh, this is going to be part one, probably of a part two series. We're going to be testing different muzzle devices at night to see how effective they are. We're probably also going to test just the uh, Air 15 without a like Sands muzzle device. You know, just with like you know either either like a thread protector or just bare threads. So hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. As you guys saw the video, uh, the flash cam produced a massive fireball compared to the A2 birdcage, which actually suppressed the flash pretty well, uh, which is probably why the military still uses it. <laughs> but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little comparison. Um, I was actually a little, little bit surprised myself. I didn't think the flash cam would produce that big of a flash. Um, and I thought it was really interesting to watch in slow motion when I actually watched back on the video that we're going to be producing. Uh, well, the, the, I watched back the footage that we're going to be putting into this uh, video in slow motion, just on the, on the handy cam, and wow. Uh, it's really interesting to listen to a uh, bullet come out of a 5.56 chamber of that, well, that size. Just the sound of it's really, really interesting in slow motion. But seeing that flash, pretty interesting. So uh, I think this is going to be a nice uh, kickoff point for a future video, testing out different muzzle brakes uh, for effectiveness. And I really want to see uh, if we could kind of, I want to see like what's going to be, what's going to produce more of a flash, a uh, flash can or bare threads. I think that'll be really cool. So stay tuned for that. If you have any suggestions, please put them down below. Please like, subscribe, let me know uh, if you have any other suggestions for future videos because, hey, I'm always open. <laughs> suggestion. Now, I want to thank you guys for watching. And again, Crackshot 47 out.